2025 is here. The tech world is buzzing, and everyone is waiting for Apple's next big reveal. We've heard the whispers, seen the leaks, but no one really knows how far Apple is going to push the boundaries of wearable tech this time around. But here's what we do know. The Apple Watch Series 11 is shaping up to be a beast. If you thought the Series 10 was impressive, just wait. There's a whole new level of innovation coming. But what makes it so special? Why are tech enthusiasts and Apple fans holding their breath? It's more than just a beautiful screen. Let's break down everything we've uncovered so far. First things first, let's talk about the display. It's one of the biggest upgrades we might see in the Series 11, micro LED technology. Now, if you're wondering what all the fuss is about, think of it like this. Micro LED is OLED on steroids. We're talking sharper visuals, brighter images, and way better resolution. This means you'll see your notifications, health metrics, and even those gorgeous watch faces with stunning clarity and vibrant colors. Everything is going to pop like never before. It's a display that could make your wrist feel like a mini cinema screen. But there's a slight catch. There's still some uncertainty about whether micro LED will actually make it into the Series 11 or if it'll be pushed to Series 12. If Apple pulls it off for 2025 though, it could completely redefine how we think about smartwatch displays, setting a new industry standard. Now, Apple has always been known for its sleek, iconic designs. With the Series 11, we're not expecting anything too radical, at least not in terms of the main design. It'll probably follow in the footsteps of the Series 10, which got a bit bigger and thinner. If it ain't broke, why fix it, right? But where things get interesting is with the bands. We're hearing rumors that Apple might finally introduce smart bands. Bands that could pack in extra sensors, charge your watch, or even offer new features like built-in cameras. Imagine swapping out your band and suddenly having a new function on your wrist. That's the kind of future we're looking at. This does, however, raise a question. Will your old band still work? The leaks aren't super clear, but if Apple moves to a new band system, we might finally have to say goodbye to the connectors that have been around for a decade. We'll see if Apple decides to push the envelope or stick to what's familiar. Now let's get into what Apple does best, health tracking. With every new watch, they raise the bar, and the Series 11 will be no different. One of the most exciting rumors floating around is the potential for blood pressure monitoring. Now, it's not going to replace your doctor, but it could give you a nudge if something seems off, prompting you to check in with a professional before you even realize something's wrong. That kind of proactive health monitoring could be a game changer for many. And while we're not there yet with non-invasive blood glucose monitoring, you know Apple's working on it, it's not expected for the Series 11. But don't worry, it's coming, just not quite yet. Another feature generating buzz is an AI-powered health coach app. The idea is that this app would use AI to analyze your fitness data and offer personalized recommendations. Want to know which workouts will give you the best results? Your Apple Watch might just tell you, like, you go for a run, and based on your performance over the last month, your Apple Watch tells you exactly what you need to do to improve your results. That's the kind of tech that could make a real impact on your health and fitness routine. Performance-wise, we're likely looking at a brand new processor, the Apple S11 chip. Apple's watches get faster every year, and with Series 11, we can expect even smoother performance. Apps will open faster, interactions will feel smoother, and the whole experience will be more responsive. In short, it'll feel like a well-oiled machine. But what about battery life? This is where Apple Watch has always struggled a bit compared to its competition. The Series 10 gave us about a day's worth of battery life between charges, which is decent, but not amazing, especially if you're tracking your sleep. The rumor for Series 11 is that the combination of a more efficient processor and that potential micro LED display will stretch the battery life even further. Maybe two days between charges? Of course, a new Apple Watch wouldn't be complete without updated software. WatchOS 12 will be introduced, and while we don't have all the details yet, we're expecting some AI smarts to be integrated more deeply. Apple has been hinting at integrating AI into health and fitness tracking for a while. 
Imagine a watch that not only tracks your heart rate, but learns from it. Maybe it starts recommending new workouts or sleep patterns based on your activity over the past month. That's where we're headed. AI personalization on your wrist. Now let's talk about something that's always top of mind. Price. Apple tends to keep their pricing pretty stable, and all signs point to the Series 11 starting at around $399 for the 42mm size, with the 46mm likely at $429. If you're looking for LTE connectivity, expect to tack on a bit more. And of course, if you want those premium materials or custom bands, be prepared for a higher price tag. As for when you'll be able to get your hands on it, mark your calendars for September 2025. Apple has been sticking to this timeline for years, so we'd be shocked if Series 11 didn't make its debut alongside the iPhone 17 in the fall. With all the leaks and rumors surrounding the Apple Watch Series 11, it's natural to ask, is this the upgrade we've been waiting for, or should we hold off for something truly groundbreaking? The bottom line with the Apple Watch Series 11 is this. It's looking like a solid evolution, rather than a revolutionary leap forward. But for anyone familiar with Apple's approach to product development, that's not really a surprise. Apple tends to perfect and refine rather than shock us with wild new features year after year. And that's probably a good thing in a product as essential as a smartwatch, where reliability and refinement are key. Let's break it down, starting with the display. The rumored micro LED screen is, without a doubt, one of the most exciting aspects of the Series 11. If it happens, and that's still a big if, considering the conflicting leaks, this could dramatically enhance the user experience. A sharper, brighter display with better energy efficiency? That's something you'd notice every time you glance at your wrist. But there's also the real possibility that Apple may push this feature to the Series 12. If that happens, it could make the Series 11 feel like a stepping stone to the next big display upgrade. This uncertainty around the micro LED screen is a bit frustrating but it's also part of the excitement of following these leaks. On the health front, we're seeing some incremental but meaningful changes. Blood pressure monitoring is a big deal for everyday users. While it won't replace a doctor's visit, the ability to monitor trends in your blood pressure could be incredibly useful, especially if it helps catch potential issues early on. However, features like non-invasive glucose monitoring, which many were hoping for, still seem far off. It's a little disappointing because it feels like that's the next big frontier for health tech and wearables. For now, we'll have to settle for more gradual improvements in health tracking, which is still valuable, just not as groundbreaking as some might have hoped. Now, about the design. The Series 11 sticking to the same overall design as the Series 10 is both expected and slightly underwhelming. Apple has created such an iconic design that it doesn't necessarily need to change much, but for those of us who've been following the product line closely, we might have been hoping for a little more visual differentiation. That said, the rumors of smart bands bring an interesting twist. If Apple can introduce bands with new functionality, like extending battery life or adding sensors, it could bring a fresh layer of innovation to the design without overhauling the watch itself. And speaking of battery life, while we're all hoping for some improvements, I wouldn't hold my breath for a massive jump. Apple has always been about balancing performance with form factor, and it's likely we'll see incremental improvements rather than a game-changing leap in battery life. Still, with the rumored efficiency of the new S11 chip, there's hope that we might squeeze a little more out of each charge, maybe enough to make sleep tracking more practical for day-to-day -day use. The inclusion of AI in Watch OS 12, specifically in the form of an AI health coach, could be one of the sleeper hits of this update. Imagine having your watch give you tailored feedback on your workouts, health data, and habits. It could make the whole experience feel much more personal and proactive. It's an exciting idea that, if executed well, could be one of the standout features of this generation. Overall, the leaks and rumors surrounding the Apple Watch Series 11 paint a picture of a watch that builds on a strong foundation. The potential new health features, the processor bump, and the possibility of a more efficient display all suggest a product that's evolving in the right direction. But, like with most iterative Apple upgrades, it's going to come down to the details. If you're using an older model, this could be a significant step up. 
But if you've already got a Series 10 on your wrist, it might not feel like a must-have upgrade unless some of the more exciting leaks, like the micro-LED display, actually come to fruition. In the end, the Series 11 appears to be about refining what's already great. It's not about reinventing the Apple Watch, but about making small improvements that, together, could add up to a much better user experience. That's the kind of evolution we've come to expect from Apple. And for a product as polished as the Apple Watch, that might be exactly what we need. So there you have it. All the latest leaks and rumors surrounding the Apple Watch Series 11. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more watch news.